Hi everyone, let's continue working with Open Cascade, and our plan for today is to build it from scratch together with samples. Actually, there is another video on this channel explaining how would you build Open Cascade with CMake and Visual Studio, but this video is a bit outdated already, and that's why it's a good chance for us to revisit the whole process. So what we are going to do now is to build Open Cascade from sources once again using CMake and also we will configure CMake to enable these old schoolish but still useful MFC samples. Then we will run those samples and see how we could grab ideas from there and uh, see how we can get some insights. Because after all Open Cascade is not that easy to use, it's a library, it's not a CAD system and what you would like to have is basically some interactive application where you will see a 3D scene with all your shapes and you will have some control over your modeling process. Let's start from github.com, uh, there Open Cascade has got its own repository and in search panel here let's type OCCT which stands for Open Cascade Technology. The second link would be Open Cascade SAS OCCT which is what we are looking for. So let's copy this HTTPS link from here and we are not going to stick to any specific Open Cascade release because for our experiments master is just fine. Now I am going to clone the repo here in my empty directory. So let's do something like git clone, then I paste my link here. And it will take a while to copy all the sources from the remote server so that you can use them to configure with CMake. Once the repo is cloned you can launch CMake and here as usual you will have to specify the source and build directories. So let's start with sources. We have this new directory over here, I will paste it here, sorry, not here but here. And then I will give a name to my build directory which doesn't exist yet. So we configure it for the first time and here we specify the configurator which is x64 for Visual Studio 2019. And now I have to specify all these third parties, which let's imagine I do not have them, and I will show you how would you find them. I am going to create a directory where I will put all my third parties, let's call it like depths, which stands for dependencies. And then I go to another website of Open Cascade company, which is opencascade.com, and here in the solution sections where is this Open Cascade technology link. It brings us shortly to this Open Cascade Technology web page, and here I go to Download Center and to the third party components. Since I'm using Windows, I need this group of third parties here, and I'm going just to download all the pre-compiled third parties, and I will I will take only the minimal set of them. What we would need is free type. Make sure to choose the latest version of a Visual Studio compiler here. For Visual Studio 2019, it will be okay to use VC14. So I'm going to grab this free type 255, for example. Save it. We will also need this TCL and TK thingy because this is how Draw Console works and TCL is a pocket scripting language of Open Cascade. So let's download here this package also. We will not need anything else, so let's just take these two zip archives and copy them to our directory. Then we can unzip. And I think we are good to go. So let's come back to CMake then and specify as this third party dir here the folder with our unzipped archives. Already here in CMake we see that we will have to specify this free type TCL and TK lips, which is basically what we already have. So let's hit this configure button and wait for a couple of minutes probably to make the configuration process done. Alright, the configuration process is done, but we have also to enable this MFC sample somewhere. Here in the list of variables you see this build samples MFC thing, so let's tick that. 
We are not going to use Qt because MFC is sort of embedded thing and Qt is additional third party library which we do not have so far. Another pretty important thing is installation directory which I will specify as OCCT-install and let's configure this thing a bit more like we will also install free type there then TCL, TK and also samples. So that once we install everything using CMake, we will have all the binaries in one directory and we can easily run this whole thing. Make sure that you do not have any of these boolean variables enabled here because each of them requires some extra third party. So I think that our configuration is just fine and we are ready to click this generate button. It will create Visual Studio projects for us. You will likely see these deprecation warnings over here on CMake log saying that you'd better use some updated version of CMake. Since my version is quite updated, I do not care of any of these warnings. So now I am ready to hit this open project button. And as expected, I have this solution explorer here populated with not only modules of OpenCascade itself, but also with this samples directory having this set of MFC samples. So let's try to compile this whole thing. And it seems like occasionally I made a mistake, like I have these linker errors over here. And if I go back to website of OpenCascade, I will shortly notice that what I downloaded for TCL and TK was this zip archive for 32 bits, which is completely wrong. So basically you have to download this one. Then in CMake, in order to correct this mistake, what I have to do is to erase manually all these paths. And then I let CMake reconfigure this whole thing. Note that CMake scripts are smart enough to detect this 64 version of TCL and TK and to use that instead of this 32-bit version. So I repeat the process, I regenerate my Visual Studio projects now. And then I get back to ID. In the hope that right now the whole thing will compile without any errors. Yet another problem which you might face on your machine is this bunch of Visual Studio errors, saying that you do not have MFC Toolkit to build up all these samples of OpenCascade. You can still fix this problem, and for that you should go and find this Visual Studio installer and add this missing MFC components there. So you go to App and Features, you find your Visual Studio there. On my machine I have Visual Studio Community Edition and then you click this Modify button. It will shortly open up you this installation dialog and there you, you might have to update Visual Studio first. And uh, once it is done, you go to the individual components tab and you search for uh, the MFC toolkit here. It's going to be this C++ MFC for the latest build tools. You have to install it by clicking this checkbox over here and then hitting this modify button. Once this component is installed, Visual Studio will be opened again for you and you will be able to compile OpenCascade with all these nice MFC components. Now I have everything compiled in my Visual Studio, although I did that for debug configuration. And you might want to switch it to release, because otherwise you are likely to have some performance issues with this debug configuration. But I will leave it as it is now, not to waste time on that, and I will go to this CMake predefined targets and find this install project over here. Now we can build it. And this will copy all our compiled binaries to the target directory, which we specified as install dir in our CMake configuration. To remind you, we also checked this install samples variable here, which means that all our samples will be copied to the destination folder as well. And in the same folder we will find all dependencies like free type and TCL and TK, because we need these binaries, we need these DLLs in order for the whole thing to run. You also can notice here that all my libraries are copied with these PDB files, 
which means that I will have my debug symbols and that I can attach my debugger and then check the sources of OpenCask I'd like to step into the sources and see how it works. So I'm finally done here and then I can go to my installation directory which is in my case with OCCT install. And then in this Win64 VC14 I have this BinD directory. And perhaps the first thing to check is this draw exam. I can run it. And it should give you this command prompt here where you can type this familiar pload all to load all the plugins of OpenCascade and try to make a box, for example. And then we can visualize it like XO, then fit. And we have our box over here. But this is not what we want to check actually in this lesson. So let's exit. And instead, let's run this, I don't know, this modeling exam. And you see, here we go. This is our modeling exercise. You can hold your mouse pointer here to see the tooltip saying what this uh, specific button is doing, like there are different modeling operators which are demonstrated by clicking one or another button. And you see there are many of modeling functionalities exposed here. One good point about this exercise is this panel over here, which demonstrates you a piece of code, which you can grab, which you can copy into your application and start using OpenCascade. You can also try out different exercises like geometry, for example. This exercise is of more geometric nature. It doesn't demonstrate any topological things, but it's rather focused on curves and surfaces. Like here, for example, I can build up what's that? Bezier surface, or I can, for example, measure distances between two surfaces, build up a surface of revolution, or fill my curves with surfaces like this. And again, you have a small panel where you can see how this whole thing is implemented in code. I hope that you will find this short video useful and see you in the next lesson.